Hi, I'm Jonah, and uh, today I decided I'm gonna die alone. Thank you, thank you. I know. <laughs> Today's video, I wanted to talk about this thing called TikTok. You probably haven't heard of it because it's, it's just so under the radar. Nevertheless, I want to talk about some things on the app that make me want to fucking claw my eyes out and jump out of the nearest window. You see, I was one of those people who really liked Vine back in the day. Shit, when did Vine shut down? Twenty sixteen, huh? Damn, that makes me feel old and I'm only like 18 years old. So when TikTok became a popular thing, I hated every second of it. It took me forever to download the app, even with every single one of my coworkers and friends telling me I should get it. But can you really blame me for that? Can we normalize men and women's Because all they want to do is I ended up getting the app at the beginning of quarantine, and uh, after a few weeks, I completely stopped using it. I started using it a month or two after that, and then, you know, some parts of it were great, and then other parts of it were complete shit. Hell yeah, the king wants to eat frosting off your titties, oh yeah. Let me suck on them nipples. This finally brings me along to one of my main problems with TikTok, which is the girls who make videos on themselves doing things that should not be on an app like this, which is basically borderline porn. One of the trends is called the Silhouette Challenge, where you basically just take off half of your fucking clothes. Put your head on my and this just in, after doing some research and trying to get footage for this video, I found out that not only girls do this challenge, but guys do as well, and it's just as terrible. And to make matters even worse, they play an edited version of a song that's old but it's really good and it just completely ruins the fucking song for me. And I know some people are just gonna disregard what I'm saying and just tell me, oh it's a body positivity thing. Well for fuck's sake, there's better places to put this shit. And one of the biggest audiences on this app is children. So uh, next time you post your body positivity video, just know that it's probably gonna pop up in some fucking child's for you page. And now at this point, in my book, you're basically a pedophile. And in other books, you're probably a sex offender. And just to cover my bases a little bit, I don't wanna hear anything about, oh, it should be the parent's responsibility to make sure that they're checking up on what their kids are watching. Doesn't matter. Stop fucking talking to me. Who the fuck are you anyway? What? Stop talking. And even after all this time I spent scrolling through and liking all the content that I enjoyed watching, I still get these stupid fucking videos. This doesn't stop here either. There's another challenge called the, the Bus It Challenge, where you guessed it, women do sexual things that make me feel uncomfortable to watch outside of my bedroom. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a person of the male sex, who happens to also be straight. So I do take a liking to women, but I also don't like watching videos of half-naked women in public. It's like the same feeling you get when you're watching a movie with your family and a sex scene comes on. And on top of all this, I'd like to point something out that concerns me even more. You know how kids like to make videos and then post them on TikTok? Well, some of these children like to watch the trends that blow up on TikTok. Do you see where I'm going here? Well, let me explain. I don't want to see children on the app making videos when they're underage doing this shit because other adults want to show their fucking bits to people on the internet. There are so many stupid and annoying things on this app that I haven't talked about, but these are just the things that have been driving me fucking insane lately. And of course, if you do not like and subscribe, then you're now a sex offender.